in the world of technology. Tell us the story of Paystand and sort of how it came to be and how you, how you got there. Most people grow their wealth and grow upward mobility effectively through buying a home. Like that's kind of the core thing of the American dream. And um, so my, you know, my, my dad swung a nail, uh, you know, swung a hammer for 20 years to, to effectively buy an 800 square foot house. You know, and that, that, that was kind of their net, nest egg. And so um, I go off to college, I get involved in tech, fast forward 15 years, you know, and they're really proud, you know, so, um, it's a humble, you know, um, success, but it's a cool success. What happened was in 2008, I was in New York, I was kind of working in Wall Street. Uh, my life had changed you know, dramatically. And through some tragedy that happened in the family, it's a kind of long, sad story, but um, my, my parents lost that house that they had kind of worked their whole life for. They were one of many American, you know, millions of Americans who lost their home in 2008 during the financial crisis. And um, I had this really visceral moment where I, w- I was walking down downtown New York and Wall Street, and there was this thing called the Occupy Wall Street movement, which was a bunch of people who were really, really upset and protesting that it felt really wrong that Wall Street was bailed out and Main Street wasn't. And you had millions of Americans who were really hurting. And it kind of exposed a sort of structural imbalance in this, what I'd call corruption in financial services. I just remember I was literally in a suit and I was like, who am I? Am I like the product of, you know, now, you know, the power structure in, 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 in Wall Street and financial services, you know, or am I the rebellious kid that grew up with, you know, a family from nothing? And so, so there, there's a part of me that's like, you know, I'm going to pick up a rock and throw it at the, the bank too. And, 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 and I think my, yeah. my view as technologists, you know, one of the magic things we get to be is we get to imagine the world not as it is, but as it could be. And I think in some ways, technology is this force for change that ultimately it can be a quiet revolution. And so I went back to grad school and I did my master's thesis on why banks were big t- too big to fail and kind of studied under some folks that did a lot of the hearings back then. And out of that, I kind of grew this thesis around, you know, sort of the structural inequity in financial services and commercial banking. And this was right around the time that um, there was this white paper by this kind of pseudonymous guy named Satoshi Nakamoto that released um, something called Bitcoin. And so what I saw was the answer to a problem that many of us felt that couldn't articulate, which is if financial services, if the money, which is the the core of how our economy works. And if we don't have a working fair economy, we don't have a fair system. If, if you could fix the money, you could maybe fix the world. And so I've kind of dedicated the last 15 years of my life to be a, a part of that force for change. And today Paystand is, you know, one of the largest commercial use cases and a fairly successful company in that space. 